Hello. Hello. Uh, so this is our second vlog, and we're just we've been here for almost over two weeks now. Um, right now we're in the lobby of our dorm, and we just wanted to give you guys an update. So so far we're doing research uh, at the chemistry department here at Fudan. I'm working on um, these polymer gels that are stick with sterile methacrylate. So we're working on these long copolymer block polymer polymers with acrylamide and sterile methacrylate, and we're trying to do host guest chemistry. And this is Chris. Chris yep. can introduce so, well, yeah, you, you all know me, I'm Chris <laughs> Chapman, uh, but I'm working in a polymer lab and we're synthesizing um, or making synthetic ion channels. So they've already made one before and I'm working on like the 2.0 version. So it's a lot of organic synthesis and it's very, very interesting. I you know, absolutely love it, chemistry now, so totally into what I do. All the grad students are great. They, they also all look very young, you know? Um, they're all like 30 or 28 years old, but they look like they're 18. Um, but they've been pretty good about uh, incorporating us in their life. We've gone and played basketball with them, oh, yeah. and they expect us to be like, you know, Shabazz or, you know, like really good because we're from the West. Oh, they're terrible. Or, or trash at basketball. So, yeah, they're, they're still nice about it, but, um, you yeah, know, it's, it's, it's been pretty fun. And they're really good. They're like pretty short. Yeah. They like, they're phenomenal. They're just like flying and like shooting mm -hmm. threes and just sinking them in. Yeah, making us look pretty bad. But yeah. it's still been fun. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, yesterday or two days ago, Dr. Siri actually came and visited us um, here at Fudan campus. He's teaching a course at another campus, at Fudan's campus. They have four campuses. And he took us out, uh, well, he went to see the labs and what we were doing, and then he took us out for some soup dumplings? Yeah, 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 they're called uh, shula. Yeah. And it's like, you get a little basket and there's six of these little dumplings that have like meat and soup in them. Soup inside of the dumpling and you like dip it in vinegar and you suck the soup out and then eat it. It's, it's, it's very, really very good. good. I think yeah. it was one of the best dumplings. Yeah, we, we had like six of the big baskets so we, we, we had a whole bunch. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Um, and then we also grabbed ice cream with Dr. Siri and he told us more about uh, Shanghai and where to go. <clears throat> And then uh, Chris and I like to go grab street food at night. So do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so essentially, you've, you know, if you've been to hibachi before. It's essentially portable hibachi, you know, all over the place, though. So you go out, usually there from around uh, 9 p.m. to midnight, maybe 1 a.m. on a weekend. But, uh, you know, we, we usually go get chow fan, which is fried rice. And so you walk up and you say, uh, you know, ni hao, chow fan, ni ni ro. So, uh, fried rice and beef and then they like to put spice in it but I don't like the hot food so I always say bula bula which means no spice no spice so it's only like eight kwai um, kwai is money and so it's you know it's very cheap when you think about it because it's a six to one ratio of uh, one American dollar to six kwai so eight kwai is like a little over a dollar so it's de definitely worth it it's yeah. quite quite fun and Chris survived I didn't survive my first experience with street <laughs> food I think I ordered like I he asked me if I wanted la which is spicy and I was like la 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 because I want I love spicy food but it was a just a, too much it was too much <laughs> like the next day I was just struggling not having it yeah, yeah it was really bad. It's, fun. Yeah. it's it's interesting how when the meal times here are very, uh, you know, I guess you can call it organized. Everybody on campus goes to lunch at 11.15. You'd think everyone was like leaving and there was some big exodus, but it's just everyone going <laughs> to the dining hall at that one time. And then oh, yeah. at one o'clock it closes, you know, there's like a few little spots open, but it's pretty much like the 8 a.m. rush, the 11.15 rush, and then they get dinner at five. So we try to stick to those, but I usually end up eating a little later because I'm not quite as hungry as them. Um, and it's, it's like it's everyone, not, a, not even on campus, it's like mm -hmm. in Chiang Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, like it's, it's see... not just on campus, it's yeah. everybody yeah. is going to eat at that time, <laughs> so it's kind of, kind of fun, it's been good, but Thank you. overall it's, it's, been, it's been pretty good. The summer session is just starting, so a lot of other uh, international students are moving in now, so we've been making a lot of friends and, um, from all over the world, just having, having a great time. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Chris and I signed up for a trip to Hangzhou which is a, a town on a lake, and they have these uh, temples, one of the oldest temples in China. So Chris and I will be going there in two weeks, and we'll be updating you guys, but we're really excited for yeah, what's to come. Yeah, should be good. It's all been going well, so see you guys in a week or two then. Sai Jen. Sai Jen.